According to latest media reports, the Indian Air Force will raise the second squadron of the indigenous Aegis fighter jets on 27 May, and the Indian Air Force chief is expected to travel to the Solar Air Base for the event. The second squadron is being raised with the first aircraft in the final operational clearance configuration, and more fighter jets will be added later. The additional Director General of the Center for Air Power Studies has said that Hindustan Aeronautics has to speed up the production, and eight Tejas fighters per year is just not acceptable. It is also reported that the 38,000 crore rupees deal for the purchase of 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters is expected to be signed in the next few weeks, and Hindustan Aeronautics is expected to deliver the first Mark 1A fighter jet within three years after the signing of contract. The French ambassador Emmanuel Lenin has said that there will be no delay in the delivery of 36 Rafale fighter jets to India, and the timeline for supplying the fighter jets will be strictly respected. He also said that France is also helping the Indian Air Force to arrange the ferry flight of their first four Rafales from France to India, and there's no reason to speculate that the schedule will not be maintained. Out of the 36 Rafale fighter jets, six will be twin-seater trainers with almost all the features. The Indian Air Force has already spent around 400 crore rupees to create required infrastructure at the two bases that will operate the Rafale fighters. Top experts have said that India's military engagements are focused on the line of actual control and the line of control, and they question the need of a third aircraft carrier in the present security situation and budgetary constraints. The immediate requirement is to have a strong army, duly supported by a capable air force, and the navy will require to locate and counter enemy ships in the Indian Ocean region, and this can be accomplished by a combination of smaller ships submarines and surveillance and reconnaissance systems. They also said that China decided to invest in an aircraft carrier, after it developed overall military prowess, and they are now focusing towards building a greater sea and air power capability. India has inaugurated two vital bridges in the northeastern state of Arunachal, which will allow faster movement of civilians as well as the armed forces to the India-China border. The chief minister also lauded the Border Roads Organization for securing the borders of the country, and also providing employment and business opportunities for the locals through their investment in roads and bridges. The President of the Republic of Uganda has commissioned the new military center, that is built in partnership with the Indian Army, and this state-of-the-art facility will contribute to the quality of training for Ugandan forces. The center is constructed with an amount of over $265,000, which has been funded by voluntary contributions from Ugandans of Indian origin, 